Warning, explicit content. Blood, guts, swearing, lots of bad words, adult themes, no nudity though, lots of violence, did I say violence? Viewer's discretion is advised. Welcome back, and I hope you guys are ready for another exciting episode of Pathfinder's Wrath of the Righteous. Um, of course, we're going to be screaming, yelling at the dice roller, and just generally being like, Aah! but you know, um, it's all in good fun. So let's enjoy the story. Let's kill some monsters, do some dungeons, and uh, see if uh, see what comes next. So let's go and hop into it. Okay, we are going to hit... Wait, where's my morale low? Oh yeah, because I have one more army to take care of. We'll let them flee for easy experience. My general's gotten another ability, which means I get a thousand resources every time she wins a battle. Um, which is pretty awesome. He won his first battle. He's got a small group so that he can help defend from southern invaders because the bad guys will spawn enemy armies and attack you with them so be ready for that i believe can i go no i can't go that direction yet i don't think wait yeah it won't let me go that far yet and not that her movement's important but we're gonna stop by peaceful respite my grove because there's stuff constantly going on there we're gonna see what these people are up to next Strong rung, you are in luck, says Ar Aranka. I was about to take you to the commander, but Guru is already here. Guru, you have a very special guest. Aranka looks at the Orid standing next to her with admiration. She is obviously marveling at the stoic and rugged face of a majestic giant. Allow me to introduce you to Strong rung, Strong rung the Orid people's emissary. The Orid bows with an unexpected grace, his body making a low grinding noise. Esteemed Guru, I am honored to speak on behalf of all Orids. The Orid elders and sages learned of the champion bringing life back to the defiled and corrupted territories of the north. Our leaders secluded themselves in meditation, later holding a council. Such massive gatherings are uncommon for our people. They only happen because of important reasons. The Orids have decreed that we ought to help you. We are children of this earth, and you are this champion, so we should join our forces and fight together. But then the stages from Jalmaray begin to argue with enlightened priests of Osirion over who is more worthy to lead the United Army. My impulsive brethren from Janderhof presume to do it themselves, gravely offending both other parties in the process. The disagreement was fierce. In the end, the Ori's decided it falls to you to decide who you wish to see as your allies. Let's see. Students of Stone. So nine students of Stone. They get Shield Wall. Um, infantry units. And they are Mythic units. Um, let's see. What are the Janderhof? They're Stone Infantry. These are also... They have stunning attack. That's pretty good. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage too. How much do the other ones do? Uh, not as much. These guys suck compared to the other ones. They have a ton of hit points though. Which these guys have way less hit points but do infinitely more damage. So they die faster. Um, reinforcements from Orsirion, Sand Clerics, Stone Skin, Curse of Black Sands, and Pharaoh's Curse. So they're casters. They don't do damage. Yeah, so they're a spell casting unit without offensive spells, but DR. Oh. Oh no, it does physical damage. Okay. Does not affect flying units or units with the ability to teleport. Interesting. So, what do I want? Casters or melee brutes? I think I'm going to go with the. Or super tanky ones. No, I think I'm going to go with the casters. 
Strong Rung bows in a gallant manner. I will pass along your words to the elders. Your chosen army will immediately move out. You don't have to worry about them arriving late. We may be slow to dedicate to decide, but once we've made a decision, we tarry not. Let's see if his thing is done. No. Okay. So it looks like we are good here then. Mm -hmm. oh, I gotta go back to town and talk to uh, Storyteller again because we have a piece of Terendalev. And then we will be working our way south towards Winter Sun and whatnot so we can deal with that area. But we'll pop to Dresden real quick. Shouldn't be too much a talking. Um, yeah, it's gonna be the closest to Storyteller. Oh, she glided along the floor. There's an unusual spring in this succubus' step today, and she has a mysterious smile on her lips that you can't recall seeing before. Oh, Desna, something truly miraculous has happened to me. If only you knew. You're beaming with delight. Yes, I've never been so happy before. I used to, and now I'm, no, wait, this doesn't feel right. Look, I'm, a shrushale takes a few deep breaths trying to calm down. I'm sorry. It's, uh, I shouldn't have barged in like that. We need to talk one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be waiting for you at the tavern. The succubus runs off without giving you a chance to say another word. Borrowed dreams. We will talk to her later. We are on a quest to do uh, the streets. Um, some more adventuring and fighting and leveling. Because that's what I want to do. Not not talk to people. <laughs> Did a lot of talking with uh, Storyteller recently. So. Oh, Sozil is painting. Uh, please examine the items I'm carrying with me. Let me touch them and I'll tell you what I see. Now, this is just a shard of the past, but I feel its power. The elf carefully strokes Terendalev's claw. Only a great power can resist the most terrifying of enemies, oneself. Please, allow me to immerse myself in this memory and learn the story of the spiritual resurrection of the greatest of silver dragons. Uh, the elf looks at you with unusual impatience, shall we? Tell me Trendle's story to the end. The storyteller hangs his head, looking sickly and tired. How many times has the moon died and been reborn since I've been here? I've lost count. My friends brought me here. They said goodbye to me, like they always, like always, but they look at me like I w it was the last time they'd see me. Cowards, insidious spawn. They were glad I was going to die, but I'll show them. Trendelev will live. A new Trendelev, whose eyes are finally open. I hear the rustling of wings, and I emerge from the cave where I imprisoned myself. Who is it? A friend? An enemy? Sunbeams refract off his scales as he hovers before me, surrounded by a glowing halo. The gold dragon Halisax. A part of me wants to fly to him and make a circle of uh, a part of me wants to fly to him and make a circle of honor around him, as any good student should. But the part of me that turned my scales black is ready to seize his gleaming throat. How dare he fly here, flaunting his purity and innocence? He wants to humiliate me drag me through the mud but I will show him no what am I thinking my mentor has come on this way to save me I know he would never abandon me someone called him to my aid moving heavily I take flight to greet him but my body controlled by the foulness straightens like an arrow his vulnerability his vulnerable throat is so close one strike and I will destroy you 
Halisax. What happened next? Did Halisax survive? I don't know. But I know the place where Trendelove was believed to have sought refuge for her charner's soul. I saw the Sarkorian ruins, a wide branch tree next to them. Perhaps there'll be something there that will shed some light on the fate of the of mentor and student. Something that can tell us how Trendelove's strength of spirit helped her ultimately overcome the foulness within her. Can you say anything about Trendelove's future? The storyteller frowns. It's so strange you should ask, as we all know what happened to Trendelove. But sometimes it seems I hear her voice in the visions. Her voice, full of pain and despair, as if she's in darkness which she can't escape. I cannot solve the mystery of this vision, but it worries me. I thank you for the story, storyteller. The storyteller answers, bowing slightly. And thank you, Guru. Ooh, Trendelove's lair has been revealed. Sweet. And I'll add a little. I've made a screenshot, but I'll add a little bit. So in Leper Smile, and this is totally after the fact, <laughs> there's a cart on the west side. It has a little magnifying glass icon, and you're like, it's a cart. Why am I going to look at that? Um, click on it, and it turns into a hand, because apparently there's a giant tr dragon claw on it. Um, and that'll give you the piece you need to talk to Storyteller. Obviously, you can't do it until after you've dealt with the other dragon to save Storyteller. So. She still wants me to go talk there. Okay. Why do I have to go there again? We shall see what she has to say. All right. You're my dear friend, Ilks, but sometimes I just want to shake you, says Oranka. Yes, Desna is our goddess, but she's the goddess of freedom. We mustn't follow her blindly. There's no arguing with you when you're being stubborn like this, says Ilks. Perhaps Guru can make you see sense. We're having a disagreement over an important matter. We learned that you found and restored one of Desna's relics, the Bell of Mercy. I believe that it should be moved to our court, but Aranka disagrees because... No, no. I'll explain it better. The Bell is a sacred relic with the power to frighten away demons. Not really needed in Dresden, as the city is protected by the Sword of Valor anyway. But it could prove useful here. And yet... The thing is, it's an ancient relic with a history of its own. We didn't create it, and all we can do is use it. To me, that feels too much like singing other people's songs instead of writing our own. The court just appeared before our very eyes. That's what makes it unique. Its music should be unique, too. That's why I want us to craft and enchant a musical instrument of our own instead of using the Bell of Mercy. Good idea, Ranka. We have a song of our own, and it should be played on something we created ourselves. I knew you'd understand. I'll start working on our own way to make music then. And while we're at it, I wanted to work on our song a little. On Starward Gaze, do you think the new version should be more cheerful or more tranquil? It possesses a special kind of power when you perform it, so the change might have consequences. Um, let's go for cheerful, because I'm playing care... My voice is carefree, and let's be... Let's be chipper. I'd prefer more cheerful version. Great. I'll do as you prefer. Drop by when I'm done. It'll take a while. Okay. So apparently, we're going to make our own song. All right. Winter, sun. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Do, 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 do. We will have to rest on the way there, though. I think if you roll a nat 20 on the, the cooking thing, you should get, like, some special benefit. Okay, more exploring from my army. So she can level up more. That goes really far out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? Sand clerics. Oh, they look like oracles. I need to start getting all my mythic units into my other thing. My actual army that's killing stuff. Outpost of Bastion Expansion. Sweet. Blessing of Bastant. Sweet. Rank up. No rank ups. Developments. Economy. Royal Parade. Seven days. Army. Command. Relics. It's all diplomacy. All It's all that's left is diplomacy. It's actually rather irritating. Like, you can't do half the stuff because it's all diplomacy. Okay, so I need to level up another place, but I don't have one worth leveling. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, oh, that's got to be Trendelove's Lair. I don't really want to level increase the size on any of those because they're not in strategic positions to teleport um because you can tell you can put a teleportation circle in a fort um after i'm done exploring this i'm gonna have them come back i need to shuffle my army around um okay so that unfortunately that exclamation point is going to be there for a hot minute all right winter sun Do our usual buffage. Okay. No time for idling. But what if we have plenty of time for idling? Oh, that's minute per level. I don't. Did you? You don't have it. Okay. So I'll have to wait to cast that. Get on your horse. Get on your horse. Let's rearrange the party. Actually, select everybody. Let's get you guys closer together. Adventures are exciting. Also, you get on your wolf. Okay. Friendship lasts forever. Friendship does last forever. As long as you can throw your friends. Okay. Hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. Oh, we're going to throw fire on everybody. Uh, no absorption yet. Main hand. Death Lord. Gets to run into demons. Make sure our melee are doing the good stuff. I believe this is weapons. Yeah. No time okay. For now for the longer part of the buffage. Though once my mythic tier gets high enough, I can actually use my um, Azada ability to give everyone else a better buff than heroism. Because incredible might actually it doesn't do saves it's just attack and damage rolls okay so I actually still need it on her oh well I'm a main character I will rectify that later Okay. That looks good as far as all that is concerned. Now, let me finish this. Oh, 
Ayana. A million buffs. And this is where doing the um, Midnight Isles comes in as, like, fantastic, which I'll be doing shortly. I think I want to hit level 12 first before I head over there. Easy. Easy. Everything's easy. Ooh, lots of potions. Mm, Smilodons. Very nice. A lot of hit points, though. Oh, shit. Oh, another one. Oh, can't charge. But we can move up. Uh, go to sleep. Now you made your save. He's probably going to... Oh, shit. That was a charge. And he is unconscious or dead. Is he dead? No, he's dead. Jesus Christ. Well, that changed oh, quickly. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, move there. Oh, I do get my spider, though. Uh, breath weapon. And I passed because I didn't do it when I told it to. Two ones in a row. That's pretty typical. Let's get that one. Critical hit and attacks of off. Away, you rascal. I love clicking on the wrong stuff. Very nice. Is there trouble? Yeah, no, there's trouble. Why are you asking? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have healing hex right now because of my wandering hex. That's right. Totally forgot about that. I was like, I don't need healing hex. As I'm like, man, I kind of wish I had healing hex right now. <laughs> we will save. Unfortunately, his mount got wrecked. I got to remember, I need to keep gear in my bags for that thing. Because it'll unequip it every time I go into town. Which is fairly annoying, but it's not a permanent mount. So. Huh. Blighted tree. Except good and slashing. So I mean, she's going to have to deal with DR, probably. Overrun. Oh, you. I like how you don't actually get the options to deal with Overrun normally. Your time is Friendship lasts forever. But it is what it is. Yep, it is easy. Ooh, that's a bunch of crusader bodies. So, people out here killed my crusaders. That did not make me happy. Oh, there's demons. There's diamonds. Uh, go to sleep. Yeah, see? They do. Demons go to sleep when I tell them to. Hey, I don't, don't hit my fucking horse. All right, a little bit of fast healing for everybody. Uh, you... Shoot that one. Very nice. Man, no DR is great. 
actually, we're going to delay till after them. Let them come to us. So they're not getting full attack options. They're getting a attack. Now, there's a lot of bows. Okay. Get them. Yeah, you sleepy. Uh, you look sleepy too. <laughs> you went to sleep like a dummy. Very nice. Go get it. I need to be able to put my mount on a mount. <laughs> That'd be funny. Easy. Pick this lock. No challenge at Ooh, all. What is that? Sequence of murder. Uh, orc double axe. Whenever this plus three double axe lands a hit with its head, if the next attack with the tail it also lands a hit, it deals an additional 1d12 slashing damage. Jesus. That's pretty gnarly. I mean, I don't know if I'd ever do a double weapon but that's pretty gnarly uh, double weapons aren't really my style for dual wielding hey, have a look. what is that brazen whip I mean that's going to be great to sell no it's a specter that wants to talk to me indecipherable ranting how dare you steal from the dead knights of Socorus? Return the whip, and you, or you will know my wrath. Okay, I put a rip back. If I still get attacked by a bunch of undead, I'm going to come back and get the whip, and then I'm going to sell it. Hmm. Use a prayer. Oh, it was outside of range. Maybe I should have moved up. It's uh Oh, okay. Are you tired? You were sleepy. Which means we're we're gonna kill the shit out of you. Is there another one? There is another one. Okay. Let's get that one. Oh man, that thing's gonna fuck up my horse. Told you. That's not where I told you to go. Okay. I'm like, hey, attack this. I'm gonna run over here. This game's fucking control sometimes are absolutely mind-boggling. I'm like, hey, attack. Nope. You need to click two or three times. Stand down. Oh, we can't even get to it. Uh... Of course. Need a three. Rolls a one. Fucking retarded. This game's like just fucking dice roller. Absolute fucking worst. You offend me. The world is full of wonder. Well, the world is not full of wonder. No, that's cure mass. Drop a prayer. No time for idling. Yes. And I don't have a ton of potions right now, so.
Yeah, I got to skin the deer. What is that? Stuff. And just like that, the episode for today is over. The narrator's a little tired. You gotta give him some props for, you know, going at it. But thank you for hanging out and watching Pathfinder's Wrath of the Righteous. Hopefully you guys had fun. Um, so if you did, do the thing. You know, like, comment, subscribe, share it. Um, that, the link for the previous episodes and next episodes should be in the descriptions. Unless they are not out yet. Um, if you want them early, you could always beg for them in the comments, maybe. Uh, tell me your favorite part of each episode. Let me know you guys are enjoying it. Um, and with that, I will let you guys get back to your day, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for hanging out.